That's What's your, and you smoke cigarettes too? I do. Um, Good for okay, you, Jesse yeah. Robot Slayer. The only reason I hate smoking now is it's too expensive and you can't smoke anywhere. It's so what's true. You get the electronic ones. I saw someone with one of those the other day and um, there's, you know, there's another one and I, I haven't tried those yet. But, Michelle swears by them. Yeah. I'll just check it out. I, you know, I like that you have to go outside. I know, it's the whole thing. It's the whole it's more social, idea. You get some fresh air. But then you have to go outside. It's like, I don't know. I love when I, I'm out. so you glad do. I smoked when I did and I don't now because <laughs> I'd be the maddest, angriest smoker all the time. We used to be able to smoke everywhere, even on airplanes, movie theaters. That's very true. Restaurants. We used to rate restaurants, like uh, between when you'd order to when the food came. Oh, this is a three cigarette restaurant. <laughs> oh, this is a one cigarette oh, restaurant. Yeah, we would, we would like smoke to see how long the food would take, you know? You can't do that. That's a good point. I think I wasn't smoking yet. I know you were. They, I don't know if you know if you were born yet. No, I was. I, was. I uh, They can still got, do that in Nashville. I was in Nashville recently. Yeah, you Everybody can smoke down there. Right? That, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a sound. kind of like being in a time warp down there. It is, it is. So, Robot Slayer. Okay, so. You like Buffy? <laughs> I do like Buffy. Um. That's my my last name is, is actually Robertson, and I usually go by Jesse Robertson when I play. But I had some confusion between my Facebook music page and my actual page, and um, yeah. Robot Slayer has been a nickname of yeah. mine for a while. Sorry. No, no, no. Um, so my last name is Robertson. My dad's last name is Lair, and my friend Greg was like Robot Slayer. That's just where it came from. It's so cool. I love it. I had to explain to my four-year-old nephew that I only slay bad robots, not good robots, because he got very concerned. Not Bender or anything yeah. like that. None of the good robots, only the ones that misbehave. R2D2. Not the drunk robots. Drunk robots are alright. Save the <laughs> robots used to be a nightclub. Really? Yeah, you remember Save the Robots? I do. That was a the fun playpen. Yeah, I met, um, she's a very kinky girl. Oh, oh, oh Rick James. Yeah, I met Rick James there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so oh, nice. Oh, yeah. You'd meet anyone at Save the Robots. It was, <laughs> yeah, I did. He was so nice, I'm telling you. I love that about New York, though. You go somewhere and you just randomly meet. Yeah, and I, I, I can name them by their song. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, right, right. Yeah, so I you can name that tune in. So where'd you grow up? I grew up um, in Gardner, New York, which is a tiny town near New Paltz in Hudson Valley. Okay, so is it a hippie town? Um, Gardner isn't New Paltz, is definitely a hippie yeah, town. Yeah, New Paltz is. All my friends have names like Rainbow and, you know, Green and... But you're the robot oh, slayer. Oh, so so you know it at all, exactly. I slay hippies. Oh, really? Maybe it'll be yeah. a hippie slayer. Well, do they drink whiskey and smoke cigarettes? No. no. They, 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 they just smoke weed and... They sit around in drunk circles. Something they brew in their bathtub, maybe. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds right. Bathtub gin. Yeah. That actually yes. sounds good. I would drink that. Yeah, that's cool. Would you drink that? No, but I hear it's um, Bombay <laughs> Sapphire. It's really good. I've never had it. Oh, that's real gin. That's not yeah, bathtub. Yeah, that's supposed to be. So it's in India. Yeah, it starts with a B. So. so it's okay. Yeah. All right. In the same ballpark. So when did you move to the city? I moved here in the uh, fall of 2002. Okay. I've been here a while. So after the big yes. blow up. Everyone was leaving and I was like, I'm coming, coming here. That's there probably a good time. Yeah, that's time. And, and you have never left, so you're a New Yorker at heart. I am. I am. Yeah, it's, you know, if you can't leave. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's been a long time. I'm not going anywhere. No, you know when you can't. It's mm -hmm. almost like, you, it's like you can't. It's in my well, blood now. Exactly. Is, there's so much excitement. It's just like, it, if it works for you, you know. It's a great motivator. You get up every day, oh, people are doing stuff. I, I should do something. something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, even, I, I, even I, I, on I, I, a I, really I, bad I, day, I'm, I'm happier to have it here. And if yeah. I was in, what was your town again? Gardner. Yeah, would Gardner. you want to be there? No. Did you ever watch All My Children? There was Ray Gardner. He was an <laughs> evil man. Does anyone oh, remember that? Yeah. Oh, he, he was, um, oh, I'm not going to go there, but uh, I loved All My Children. Wow. It was, it was from Pine Valley, Philadelphia. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? Center <laughs> City, they'd always go to really? Center City. I wrote from the guy you Susan Lucci's from my hometown. Yes, see, there you go. It always goes like that. Susan Lucci. Whether you like her or hate her or whatever, she is amazing, she, Erica Kane, mm -hmm. and um, she said she eats a sardine a day, and that is her secret for, for being so beautiful. Okay. I always forget until yeah. her name comes up. I always That's say, amazing. oh, I'm going to start that, and then I forget. Fish so that oil. comes with a price. Oh, right? fish oil, right? Like That's it. Sardine. She said her grandmother told her to do that. Really? She, yeah. I and in Philly, I knew someone that told me sardines are like the healthy. They have RNA and DNA. Fish oil, fish oil. Besides all that, they have everything you need. And 
Okay. So tell us more about your music and stuff, what you're yeah. doing, and Jesse. Uh, oh, music. website um, and all that kind of good stuff. Thanks. My website is jessierobertson.com. Uh, I, I, I just recently switched over to Robot Slayer, so okay. I, may, I may slowly Can you change that. Are you getting yeah. a band together, or are you just going solo? Or I play you? with a band right now. Um, when they're available, they're both great. I play with a drummer named um, Brent Ballas and a bass player named Tim Lappin. They both play in a bunch of really good bands. They're awesome. And okay. you're a good band, too. You. So where are you playing? I'm playing um, at Bar 4 on January 26th, um, which is a Saturday. That's so in Brooklyn, right? not to come. That's, That's in Brooklyn. Yeah, uh, Park Slope is my home base. And okay. Yeah, I live in Park Slope. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, come by the studio if you want to record. I'd love to. And what is the name of your studio? Uh, Horizon Sound. Horizon Sound. But, I'll be over and we're there. on uh, Fifth Avenue and 9th Street, right above Smith's Tavern. Oh, perfect. That's really close to where I live. So I'll, I'll just ah, come back. I love that. There you go. Are you going to giant flying turtles, you know, the Facebook and say hi? He's a giant mm-hmm. flying turtle. Fan. He's Got not a flying robot, turtle. so you don't need to so worry. There's, no, there's a possibility we could team up instead of fighting. You know, we could fight on the same side. Absolutely. Right, right. Absolutely. The turtles have joined the robot slayers and mm-hmm. yeah. conquer the world. Conquer is over. Exactly. <laughs> so um, it is National Peking Duck Day. And we've got some sea creatures to dip into the duck sauce, uh, but we do need to get a skeleton from your closet. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you're a whiskey drinking, cigarette smoking chick. No, yeah. you're a real woman. Because real That's women right. Don't forget it. drink whiskey and smoke those bags. I will <laughs> never let that down. All right, so baby girls, wait, tell me you don't smoke those like no, no, no. Okay. Marble. You're not this close. Oh, you didn't have to say the whole name. It's okay. Okay. The I'm like, I, it doesn't like pine trees. Me. That ultra light, though, doesn't cut it. No, I know. you got to have real tobacco. Hardcore, baby. I should be smoking cowboy killers. But. Smoking like candles. I was thinking of the Marble Earl Man when you were singing that song, because I, I, I got it like three quarters through, like, oh, like a real man, but a real woman. I got it. I got it. It takes me a while. Right. So I was thinking the Marble Earl Man. I was uh, uh, Bonnie Raitt came to my mind. Do you like Bonnie do, you, do okay. you like to write while you're drinking whiskey or you Hell prefer yeah. to write like I like to write a lot of times first thing when I wake up in the morning. After that first hit? No, no. I, I, I like to be at least buzzing at all times if it's possible. Yeah, it's always good to get a little buzz on. It's, yes. it's kind of a little inspiration. Like up in the shanty, you know that we're gonna head up to the kitchen. I feel like free you know that song? In the shanty? No. To get a good buzz on. You don't know that song? Uh, We're gonna go up to No, but I live it. it. You know that song? <laughs> no, 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 no. Close enough. That works for me. Make my head. Okay, so fly. that's one of your methods. A little whiskey and a couple of little bit of nicotine. Yeah. All right, and? So my skeleton. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't have any really good buzz, stories, no. but um, before I became a real woman, when I moved to New York, I hadn't had very much to drink ever, and I. I was going to a party and was really nervous, so I drank a bunch of white wine. I got to the party and they had these giant soul cups and they had some kind of no-name vodka. And I didn't know at that point you shouldn't drink no-name vodka. So I poured a couple of those and you know, poured them down my throat and I ended up puking in some stranger's bathroom all night. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vodka on top. Of <laughs> and I woke up at like, five a.m. the next morning and I, you know, and the party's over and, and I was just like wandering through this person's house like, oh my god. Wait, they had a house? Yeah, they were. In, well, it wasn't a house, but it was like a two-floor uh, big like a brownstone type thing. Yeah. Thankfully, there were two bathrooms because a <laughs> girl was banging on the door, going, "Aren't you really sick? Or are you just being a? I'm are you getting late? Yeah. 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 So wait a minute. So you are fell you asleep. Doing were there other people that were passed out too? Like, were you the only? one? I was the only one. I, I came upstairs, and one of the people that lived there was hanging out on the couch. And he was like, "So you were throwing up all night." <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knew you were the talk of the party. Totally. Do you still talk to these people? No. <laughs> and that's when I discovered you should not mix wine and vodka. Yeah, so you learn one of you the know, practical... You know, I think that's just like lessons. the other thing. Some people I know can mix anything, anytime, and they're fine. And then other people, you just mix one little freaking stupid thing. And you drink okay. whiskey, then you can't... You're safe. You can't drink beer or any other kind oh, of no, stuff. Oh, no, can you? Once you, you can no. drink beer. Oh, you don't mix? Whiskey on beer have no fear, but beer on whiskey mighty risky. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 w
Wait, say that again. This, um... <laughs> Do a shot! I just, got a, I just got a heavy buzz. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Can you okay, just whiskey, <laughs> if you're drinking beer, and you say, I want to pick, pick, pick the bass up, whiskey on beer, have no fear. Wait, whiskey on beer, have no fear. So you can be drinking beer, and you and can then go do a up shot. a level. You can go up you a level of whiskey, but level. then that's it. You can't go back. Well, you can you never go back. back. You can well, never yeah. go back. But, uh, but if anything. you drink beer on whiskey, mighty risky. So, so you can't do a yes. shot and then drink a beer? No, if you're drinking, say you're drinking whiskey for an hour. See and the then you say, you oh, oh let's, let's drink some beer. <laughs> you're going to be in the bar city right there. You know, it's just going to upset your stomach. I don't want to repeat my past mistakes. So. That's right. Oh, so, when we wrote that song, a lot of mistakes together. Whiskey on beer, have no fear. Beer on whiskey, mighty risky. So, okay. wow, I, I, I think most of the world doesn't know that. That's <laughs> right. I do now. And what about on duck sauce? Well, I don't know duck urine. <laughs> I've never touched this stuff. Well, <laughs> oh my God. I can't say I've had urine. Tell anyway, your music, so tell us yeah, a little more about your music. Later. Robot Slayer. Um, I have a CD out called Small Town Girls about growing up in Gardner, New York. All right, that's going to be interesting. What's your birthday? I My birthday is November 11th. Okay, 11th. Nine, nine. No, 9th. Okay, I would do that. No, I, I would have some more whiskey. I always do that. Are you on CD Baby or something like so that? So it's 11-9. 11-9, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm on CD Baby and SoundCloud. Right now, I'm giving away digital downloads of the CD for free on SoundCloud. Oh, and, and it is SoundCloud slash Jesse Robertson? That's correct. Okay. Yeah. So we'll post it on our Room and Who page, too, with all the people from this wonderful day. So so you don't live too far from here, because we are in Brooklyn. That's it's right. It's the Brooklyn edition. Right. And uh, do you have a favorite New York moment so far? Um, ooh, that's a tough one. Um, Did you ever go on the wrong train? I have woken up. Uh, Again, on the train, passed out. And people were like, "Ma'am, are you okay?" And I'm like, "No, I'm not." No, I was there. But they helped you. They helped you. New Yorkers are nice. They really are nice. They we get a bad rep, but New Yorkers are nice. During the blackout, I was honest. It was so awesome during the blackout. Everybody was helping each other out. That was one of the times when I knew New York was like a great place to be. I played guitar in front of Smith's Tavern like until they threatened to call the police. So they they helped you out for a while. The people across the street. I was getting a lot of free beers that are passing out the window, and I just kept playing awesome. and singing. But no whiskey. No whiskey. On just the beer. beer. Just beer. Okay. Uh, in a blackout, I'll make an exception. Okay. Yeah. I'll call her okay. Eddie but only in a blackout. Really? So should we turn the lights on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have to. Yeah. Um, it's almost time to go. So do you have any last shout outs? Um, I'd like to thank Paul from Zest Radio. Yes, Zest Radio, you are the best thing in Canada. Love yeah, him. he's such a nice person. He's the greatest, and he's really helped me out. And anyone him. listening that's here today, you should actually contact Zest Radio in Canada. He oh, will Zest. play your music. Oh, he oh, we is know. a big supporter of Ruin Who. He makes me work extra hard all the time doing all these things, and it's because of him I've met you. And um, he raved about you. He's the sweetest. Hey, you He's got a really, great really voice. nice guy. Thank you so much. You, you guys do. have a great show. This so who inspires you? I love Jeff Buckley and Billie Holiday, oh, Jay okay. Harvey, kind of a, a bunch of different. That's of those are all eclectic. I like them all. Yeah, um, listen to Williams also. She's amazing. Um, cool. A lot of different stuff. Nice. When did you get your first guitar? I think when I was 16. Wow. Nice, that's perfect age. Yeah, it was a good time. For so what, Johnny? <laughs> to get a guitar. <laughs> to get a guitar. Get a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pop the bubble, whatever it is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's true, right? So we or your first see. tattoo. Oh, I do have one tattoo, which I can't show you because I'm not a dress. But, um, Maybe next time. Next time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you can tell us where it is. That would be your skeleton. Oh, what it is. It's on my back. I drew it in a bar while I was drinking, and then I went and got a tattoo of it because See? I was like, what the hell? Whiskey wow. inspires tattoos. Are all your songs about drinking? Um, no, not all of my songs are about drinking. <laughs> no, just Leonard Skinner's songs are all about drinking. Uh, not hers. Well, you know, Leonard Skinner, I have to say, funny you should say that. I used to work at a club called The Ritz, and um, when Leonard Skinner, they were the best 
the best band that had demands um, for their food. They needed Jack Daniels macaroni and cheese, <laughs> Jack chicken. Daniels sweet potato pie, Jack Daniels barbecue chicken. Every item had to be made with Jack Daniels. That's amazing. I, I always mm -hmm. remember that. I thought that was the coolest yeah, menu in the world. Awesome treat. So not only did they eat it too. Of course they're not around to tell us about it because they're all dead. <laughs> No, there might be, except the drummer, I played with the drummer on uh, several gigs. Played Buffalo, New York, and we played out in Jersey. Great guy, really, really fantastic. Great guy, that Leonard Skinner fan. No, no, just the drummer. No, the drummer gave up on all the whiskey and all the cocaine and all the crazy shit. Of course he did. Shit. At least and he's still alive. alive. He's that's still alive to tell stories. Oh, good for him. He's yeah. still alive to tell stories. He's like 62 now. Good for him. That's a yeah. right old age for a rock musician, really. When you think about what yeah. you do on the road. And well, you still out playing and doing the Except if you're a Rolling Stone. That's true. Yeah. But I think that's I think that's actually they are they are robots and I will slay them. slay them soon. They're overdue. Yeah. That time <laughs> but they got a lot of alimony. I always think of it like that. That's true. Well, they they played yeah. twelve twelve concerts, so you gotta give them credit for that. And they played yeah. Brooklyn. That's yeah. right, right down the street. Have you been there yet? Yeah, Barclay Center? No, I have not. Yeah. I'm still yeah. mad that they renamed the somewhere. I'm like, what the hell? That's Atlantic Pacific. Get out yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we tried to sneak in the back door, but they didn't let us. Yeah. Well, one day yeah. maybe yeah. we'll do a show there, so you know you can't knock it yet. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fingers crossed yeah. all the time for everything. That's the only only way I'll come out. We'll do it. Robot Slayers and Rue and Giant Flying Turtles will play the Barclay Center. And, and like everyone it. else that was here today, they're the lucky yeah, ones. Brandy Rowe, okay. Dan Woo. Sheehan, and The Conspiracy, The Storyteller, those degraders from the Philly. Degraders. And uh, Jesse Robot Slayer, yes, and Johnny Young, of course. And yeah. Michelle, check out. thank you enough for doing a superb and job. And check out the video, on the it again on YouTube, technology. Giant Flying Turtles. Giant Flying Turtles. And um, I have so many gigs I always forget, but there's many. So look at the calendar on Ruin Who. We will be here everywhere. on Groundhog's Day. And Gerard, who owns the Branded Saloon, my hero, is in a band called Dolly Trolley, who I met because they were on Ruin Who. And I called them the Dolly Trollops because I didn't, I don't remember anything. So they're the Trollops to me. Trollops. I you love the Dolly Trollops. And uh, we'll be playing here February 2nd, also Groundhog Day. Oh, you're playing there? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. You should come and play with you. Yeah, come, come on down. So anyway, last shout out, Jesse Robot Slayer. I got to see you in action. Do you dress up in a certain <coughs> outfit when you're slaying? I will have to from now on. Okay. <laughs> okay. My daughter is I a Buffy a fire, so I do love Buffy, so I, I'll see what I can pull together. Oh, and my kid see. watches Buffy yeah. like 24-7. Buffy's awesome. She's a good role model for young people. You need like a cape, you know? I do, I do. Like Maybe purple, she's got to get that Batman, that Batman outfit from there. Purple cape and like yellow hot pants or something like that. You know? That sounds doable. Does she wear a mask? Mm, just a little eye thing. Yeah, that, I got silver. 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 that should be silver and like a red top. Listen to him! You got it all done! All right, well, like you, you see it in your mind. Yeah, I'm uh, seeing it in my stop. eye. All right. Well, well, well forget the top, just a red bra. <laughs> like, it's good. It's really hot. <laughs> okay, then we can see the tattoo. Yes, sir. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then you'll be able to see that. At the end of the show, she's going to turn around. Oh! Uh, well, this is it. All right, so sea creatures for everyone. Happy Peking Duck Day. Another Woo! wonderful Thank you so much for everybody. Thank you, Jesse. Death Radio. Bye, Young. We'll be back. Wednesday, back at Otto Shrunken. Okay. Thanks, guys.